welcome to another AV Properties house tour. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to another AV Properties house tour. Today we are going to be exploring together this brand new two-story ultra-modern house located inside an exclusive village in Quezon City. Now before we start with the house tour, please do not forget to click subscribe to AV Properties official YouTube channel. Ring that bell so you get reminded whenever we post our fresh videos here on YouTube. You can also check us out on Facebook and on Instagram. It's at AV Properties underscore official for all of our fresh listings. It's me again, Apple Grays, and you know the drill, guys. Come follow me. And here we are, guys. We're gonna find ourselves in or on our carport. So this is your covered carport. This one can fit two cars comfortably. Have another extra car you can just easily parallel park it right outside of your gate so you have a good space for that and now let's go and step up to where the lanai is i love how spacious this part of the house or outside your house is and then there is this feature that i know you guys are gonna love so we have our artificial wall fountain and i i think you're gonna agree with me that you know whenever you hear that gentle rush of the falling waters uh, it gives you like um, a feeling of relaxation and livening up right okay and as you look up you'll see two ceiling fans installed over there so you feel you know chilly when it's hot and warm outside And on this part would be our utility area and our laundry area, but that is for later. So let's go back in the front to check out the other side of the house. Yay! Woo! It's so breezy over here. So you've seen the other side of this property. Now let's check out what's on the right side. So climbing up your elevated porch, we find ourselves in your front garden. And going deeper into this property so we're here at the side garden and let's just stop for a little bit to admire the beauty of this stone wall cladding right here so it is almost similar design with our artificial uh, wall fountain right did you remember that great so now follow me guys as i take you to where our common toilet and bath is here so let me just open the lights. Come follow me and check this one out. This is your common toilet and bath doubles as your powder room, which can also be used by our staff. So yeah, you have everything that you need. Now let's just close this one. Here. And then we have our staff room. Nicely spaced and it has a built-in cabinet so please check it out sorry you guys because there's still a lot of stuff inside we have our caretakers lovingly you know looking after this house so you've, okay so you've seen that part now let's proceed to our laundry area and utility area and as pinoy as we are we have to have our sampayans right agree let us know in the comment section guys <laughs> We also have our outdoor kitchen or what we call the dirty kitchen. We have a lot of storage spaces. And here is an extension of your pantry area. So more spaces for your grocery and your kitchen stuff. Nice, right? So right behind me, that was where the lanai is located. So now guys, follow me as we go back to the front porch and check out the rest of the house. Ooh, so hopping my way to the front porch, if you have kids with you, they're gonna enjoy your front garden and your side garden a lot. So welcome to your porch. Your door is equipped with a Yale digital lock system and this house is installed with CCTV cameras. So let's go guys. Ooh. 
Okay, so here we are in your massive living area. Now again, I always say this one, what I love about modern houses is, of course, they always have those framed corner glass windows, which not only serves its aesthetic purposes, but it actually lets the natural light in and it gives you a giant great view of your front garden and your side garden. So it really feels like you're within the outdoors as well. I mean, if you like that, right? And then you can see we have an a um, air conditioning unit here. So this house is installed with seven AC units. And here we are, we're going to be checking out the first bedroom on the first floor. So let me open this. This house has four bedrooms in total. And what I like about, you know, builders that actually um, put a bedroom on the first floor is you're actually future-proofing your house. So you're ready when you become elders. Of If you have your grandparents with you, they have a place to stay. They don't have to go up and down the stairs anymore, right? So here is your toilet and bath ensuite. Ta-da! Gotta love the color play in the toilet and bath. It's all neutral earth color. So it feels calming and relaxing. You have seen it. And of course, you have your life-size mirror, which serves as your sliding door for your closet. Now, let's close this one. And right in front of your first bedroom, this is your dining area. So the space right here can actually fit eight to 10 seater dining table. So perfect for a growing family. And then, right behind me would be our lanai. So you had a peek of that already. So let me move further into our kitchen. So right behind me would be a space for your double door fridge. So spacious enough for that. And then here, guys, you have your one wall kitchen layout. And as you can see, you also have your um, island counter. What's nice about this is um, in most modern houses, you would always find this inclusion or this combination. So it actually creates a galley style kitchen, right? Because there's a walkthrough in the middle. If you enjoy that, then that's good. So what I love about this one is it's a very sophisticated designed um, kitchen. I love the color play, the glossy um, overhead cupboards. This one is actually um, with a soft close mechanism, it goes really well with your frosted backsplash, right? So there's no design clash or color clash. When you step inside your kitchen, it's gonna feel relaxing and you will be more motivated to actually, you know, prepare meals for the family. black color of your countertop so this one is granite material you have your stainless steel sink right here and your island counter is made of quartz you have your uh, your range right here and right above it would be your really pretty um, pendant lighting it makes the mood of the room really relaxing and you're gonna enjoy all of your meals and then so right here would be your pantry. So again, you're gonna see a lot of frosted glasses. Okay, we have our pull-out pantry. I think the kids are gonna love this one. Then this um, access door right here would be leading us to our utility area. And again, let me know in the comment section if you like this one wall kitchen design. Personally, I like it because it saves a lot of space because all of the appliances, the countertops are all in one wall, as you can see, right? So it's all cushion brand. 
really top notch. And in this space right here, I believe you can be creative about this. I think you can, you know, install a television right here so you could enjoy watching TV with your family while you're dining. Or this could be converted into a dry bar and you can install your liquor shelves and all those things that you need whenever you're inviting and um, entertaining friends inside. Now, before we move on to the second floor, let us check out your powder room. Okay. Oh, wow, nice. Okay, let me open the lights. Here. Like we always say, guys, you can go crazy and creative with the design of your powder room. So this one has a geometric tile design that um, starts on the floor that, and then it runs up to the seal or the wall. And I love the vanity mirror. It's like extra big. And then we have our water closet. You have your floating sink right here. Let me know if you like it as well. And then right beneath the staircase, you have your somehow like an indoor garden. It feels so zen whenever you're inside and you see those greens, right? And then now guys, let us proceed to the second floor. So we are stepping on this um, double stringer open riser staircase and it's made of Nara. Nice. And then as you rise up, you will love the view from this spot right here. Believe me, you have to see it for yourself to admire it. Let's go. Seen the entire first floor now. Here we are on the second floor. So the three bedrooms are all here. Let's start with the first bedroom on the second floor. Are you guys excited? Yes. <laughs> okay, so here we are on the first bedroom on the second floor, but technically, it's the second bedroom. So this is really spacious for a regular bedroom. You have your windows on the side, AC as mentioned. And now let's check out your toilet and bath ensuite. And again, you will see a lot of the frosted glass element in this house. So I think it's really nice because it's something that we don't usually see in most of our, you know, toilet and bath door enclosures or doors, right? So here we are in your toilet and bath. You have your shower niche. Your water closet is here with a bidet. And this one is a floating sink. But if you want to have this one enclosed and have like a cabinet for all of your cleaning materials, so that could be done, I believe. And then again, Vanity mirrors. <laughs> they don't scrimp on those things. Then you have your built-in cabinets, frosted glass again. We'll give you a sneak peek of that. And now, exiting the first bedroom. So before I go inside, let's have a quick stop right here. So I think you have seen this um, wall cladding on the first floor. So it was by the kitchen area. So again, instead of leaving this one bare and white, they actually installed this wall cladding to add more, you know, character and beauty in this area because this would be your focal point if you're coming from the balcony. Right? So now guys, let's check out the second bedroom on the second floor. So this one is Yes, almost the same size as the bedroom number two that we have just seen. And again, you have your windows. <laughs> Life-size mirror as your um, enclosure for your built-in cabinet. Gotta love that. You don't need to buy a separate um, floor to ceiling type of vanity mirror and here we are so the tiles and everything else is the same with the first bedroom that we have shown you same size same layout and then if you want to change something else like for example the floating sink have it covered 
go ahead. <laughs> but if you want to keep it that way, then much, much better because it creates more space and yeah, it makes the toilet and bath area even bigger. So now before we proceed to uh, my favorite bedroom or everyone's favorite bedroom, let us take a moment to, you know, admire the beauty of our open below uh, feature or design of this house. So right in front of us would be our gorgeous um, beautiful chandelier so it looks like a dangling cone right a group of dangling cones in bronze so there you have a great view of the outside so the greens of the outside and your side garden and front garden now guys here we are. Let's check out the master bedroom. Wow. Whew. Set up ng my AC. <laughs> okay, so this is your master bedroom. You have uh, windows on both sides. And then, yep, uh, you also have your monitor for your CCTV right there. So we're gonna show you a quick peek of that one. And then, yes, enjoy the view of this all white wall master bedroom. So again, when you paint your walls white, it actually creates a much, um, it feels like the space looks bigger than it actually is. And then let us open this glass door so we can make our way to our walk-in closet. So you know what? Um, I don't know if you've seen a lot of glass door enclosure that separates the walk-in from the main bedroom. So I don't think so, right? So I think it adds to the elegance of the walk-in closet, especially with a color combination. Again, it's neutral earth palette, which is very classic and very elegant. And then you have a lot of storage spaces right here. And I love how they actually incorporated the life-size mirror as the sliding door enclosure. So you don't need, again, to buy a separate one, right? Saves you cash and space. You have your shower here. So I won't be going inside anymore. It's a rain head shower. You have your niche over there. And shampoo, guys, right? <laughs> Our favorite part is, of course, the jacuzzi. So this one can be enjoyed by two people, probably a couple. And yep, just lounge over here, enjoy your bath time after a long day of hard work. You have your water closet and his and her sink with another floating vanity right here and a massive vanity mirror. about having an enclosed one the moist stays there so now guys let's check out the balcony well the location of the house where it's facing at really adds to that why it feels so light and bright inside I mean look at this balcony it's so spacious. I think it could fit like how many people in here? 15 to 20 people comfortably, no? Hanggang dyan sa dulo. So yeah, it's really lovely over here. You could gather as a family. You could actually enjoy um, a yoga session in the morning with four or five of your family members, your siblings, your aunties. So yeah, this is like a really nicely spaced balcony. Hindi tinipit, no scrimping of the space. And gotta love the view of the front garden and the side garden. So we have a good vantage point of the entire property. So now we have come to the end of our house tour. We have completed the entire second floor. So guys, follow me on either the living area or the kitchen area. So let it be a surprise. <laughs> Let's go. Well, 
What's up guys? We have come to the end of our house tour for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know in our comment section below which part of the house or which feature is your favorite. Now before I let you go, please don't forget to click subscribe to AV Properties official YouTube channel. And don't forget to ring that bell so you get reminded whenever we post our fresh videos here on YouTube. You can check us out on Facebook and on Instagram. It's at AV Properties underscore official for all of our fresh listings. And if you want to list your properties, all you have to do is send us an email and send it to avproperties.official at gmail.com. This has been Apple Grace. Thank you so much, guys, for staying with us up until the end of the house tour. And again, a quick reminder, do not forget to wear your mask and please be safe all the time. See you on the next one, guys. Bye!